When we need to adjust the length of a sweater or change a band on a sleeve, we wish we could undo the casting edge, pull the yarn, and unravel the project the same way as we unravel it from the bind of edge. If you've ever tried to do that, you know that it's a grueling process that could take hours and hours of our time. But there is a way to make the project shorter or longer that is quite easy to do in five simple steps. I have a little swatch over here. Here's the cast on edge and here's the bind of edge. And let's assume that after I bound off all stitches, I decided to change this part of the swatch. Let's say I want to make it shorter or I want to change the part done in uh, goddess stitch. I want to change it uh, for ribbing or I want to make it longer because this piece is too short for some reason. In any of those cases, we have to do something to the work over here to get to the open stitches. And here's how we do it. Before we start doing anything at all, we have to know what length of the project do we need, especially if you want to make the project shorter. So measure the project or try it on if it's a sweater and mark the place uh, where you want it to end. So you mark the desired length. And you can use either pin or a locking stitch marker. Simply place it somewhere. If you want to make the project longer, then mark the first row of work, just to have the marker there so we know what we are doing. That's step one. In the next step, let's place the project on a flat surface so that the cast on edge is at the top. So if the project is worked from bottom up, that means you will need to turn it upside down like this. So now we have the cast on edge at the top. The, the next step is the, the most interesting one. So that's the step where we actually have to cut the yarn. We actually have to cut the knitted fabric, which is usually a bit scary, but there is nothing to be scared of. So here's what we do. Find a stitch that is about one stitch away from the right side of the fabric of the project. So that would be about over here for me. And find the same row that is marked by this marker that you placed in the first step. And then cut yarn in one of those stitches. Doesn't really matter which leg of the stitch, doesn't matter at all. So simply cut that yarn like this. Then the next step would be to unravel this yarn carefully. That's why we put it on a flat surface so we know that our stitches won't be damaged. So we unravel the yarn carefully to find our first stitch at the right side of the work. Simply with your fingers, just pull the yarn and unravel it. And here we go. So keep the stitches like this so they don't run away from you. And now take one of the knitting needles and pick these four stitches from back to front like this. One stitch and then the next one. And then keep unraveling the yarn and picking the stitches one by one. Again, back to front in the same fashion because we don't want them to be twisted, right? So undo the stitch, pick it, and then undo the yarn again. Remove the marker, we don't need it anymore. And then keep picking up stitches. If the project is wide and this yarn becomes too long to manage, then simply cut it just like this. It's a complicated surgery. We don't want to make it even more difficult, right? So if the yarn is too long and you feel that it takes time to kind of pull it out of each stitch, then simply cut it. We'll sacrifice a bit of a yarn. And almost there. So keep unraveling stitch by stitch and then picking up stitches. And then again, that's going to be the last stitch. And here we go. 
So we just detached part of this project from this project. So I put it aside because we don't need it anymore. And now let's take a look at uh, the stitches on the needle. Depending on the row that you cut through, uh, the tail, the yarn tail, could be either at the left side or at the right side. So if the yarn tail is at the left side, then you don't have anything extra to do. You just leave it there because the yarn is at this side and the tip of the needle is at, at this side. But sometimes you might end up with this yarn tail at the right side of the work. In this case, you can either slide the stitches to the other tip of the needle if you're using a double pointed needle or a circular needle, or you can take um, another, the other needle in your left hand and start slipping stitches one by one from the right needle to the left needle. And when you have the yarn tail close to the tip of the needle, whether on this side or on this side, then you simply attach the yarn just like this, simply tie it to, the, to this yarn tail and continue working on your project. Make it longer if you want to make it longer. Change the color, uh, change the pattern if you want to change, let's say from a gutter stitch, you want to change it to a ribbing. Or if you want to shorten the project, simply bind off the stitches and you are done. Your project is definitely shorter now. This technique is especially helpful when we want to lengthen sweaters for kids. Often the sweater fits well, but because kids grow so fast, the sleeves and the sweater itself will get short uh, within months. Instead of re the whole sweater, cut the bands, pick up stitches, and work a few extra rows to add more lengths. For more tips on undoing work from the cast on edge, read the full tutorial. The link is in the description. To download that tutorial as a PDF, join the All Tutorials Club or our community on Patreon. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you in the next tutorial.